My last relationship, we broke up because he asked me to marry him, but then he asked me to sign a prenuptial agreement. I said, absolutely not. You're crazy as fuck if you do not get a prenup and you leave it in the government's hands. That's what she wants you to do. But any woman who is really for you and really down for you, she's gonna be okay with, baby, I'ma sign that. Where do I sign that? Do I need to sign multiple times? That's the type of you need to with. Triple T G gang. We back in this thing. You already know what it is. If you do not know who I am, my name is Diamond. I run this channel called True to the Game. You already know why you came today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're gonna be reacting to. You have not already go cop your merch, man. True to the game merch is out. True to the game is on the front, stop simping is on the back. And if you want my help directly, make sure you click the link in my description down below to book a call with me so we can go over your specific situation and I can give you some advice. If you are pimping out a simp, like this video, comment your thoughts down below, hit the subscribe button, select all notifications so you do not miss an upload where I'm getting closer to being a pimp, less of a simp, let's get into it, let's do it. My last relationship, we broke up because he asked me to marry him, but then he asked me to sign a prenuptial agreement. I said absolutely not. My thing is, like I always say, like I've said in previous videos, I believe that you leave with what you came with. There's no reason why a man should spend his blood, sweat, and tears shooting in the gym, working to build everything that he has. Just for a woman to say, just because I was with you and fucked on you or whatever the case is, maybe had some kids by you, that she should leave with half of your shit. If you have anything, because some guys, y'all don't even, y'all can't even even speak on this because you don't even have enough for a woman to take half. You ain't got half of nothing, all right? And kudos to you. You're still on your way up. I'm not trying to bash you, but you probably ain't got much for a bitch to take anyway. That's for one. But for the guys who do have something that they have built, they put blood, sweat, and tears in. For a woman to take half by just being your girl, just being your wife, just having kids by you is nonsense. So you're crazy to not have a prenuptial agreement and you're crazy to keep a woman around who won't sign it. Point blank period. Because if you don't want to sign this, this automatically rings bells or rings alarms and red flags waving in my face. Why are you so worried about you taking half of my shits? If if this if this yeah if this doesn't work out, and women will try to say, oh, well, you're just thinking negative. No, I'm actually thinking logically, like a real nigga should. We're not thinking with our emotions. Emotions are not going to help you. You can cry all you want. If it don't work out and yet she ain't got no prenup and she take half of your shit, emotions ain't going to save you. Logic is going to save you from ending up in a piss poor situation that you could have avoided. So don't allow a woman to use her, her emotions to manipulate you into doing things based off of her emotions. You're crazy as fuck if you do not get a prenup and you leave it in the government's hands. That's what she wants you to do. But any woman who is really for you and really down for you, she's going to be okay with, baby, I'm going to sign that. Where do I sign that? Do I need to sign multiple times? That's the type of bitch you need to fuck with. Because nine times out of ten, she's fucking with you for you. Either she's fucking with you for you or she's fucking with you and she's like, hey, I'm going to enjoy the ride while I'm here. At least I get to experience this. You know what I'm saying? So, look, man, that's a red flag. I think that's bogus. I'm not going to sign a piece of paper that says that if you leave me, I get nothing. Like, why would you have? Why would you have a reason to have to get anything? What? What do I owe you? And why do I owe you it? Please make it make sense. No, I think that I should have half of everything that you've worked your entire life for. The nerve of these bitches is crazy. 
She's out of her mind. And you know what? It's going to be some weak ass nigga out here who's going to get allow her to get that. Who's going to say, okay, baby, we don't have to sign it. You don't have to sign it. You can just take half my shit and it's okay. You can make my life a living hell and walk all over me and it's okay. You can treat me like poop and it's okay. I'll just look for the charm and tissue because I'm already soft. So I'll just try to wipe it away. But it's still gonna smell like shit. I think that's fair. My last relationship. She says she thinks that's fair, guys. What do y'all think? Let's watch it one more time without me pausing. We broke up because he asked me to marry him, but then he asked me to sign a prenuptial agreement. I said absolutely not. I think that's bogus. I'm not going to sign a piece of paper that says that if you leave me, I get nothing. Like, no, I think that I should have half of everything that you've worked your entire life for. And this is the type of bitch who deserves nothing. Absolutely zero. Nada. Zilch. She deserves nothing. And I think that's fair. It's the woman who doesn't expect anything who deserves everything. If she earns it. That's key. My last relationship. All right, and I want to just clap it up for the for the guy who she was in a relationship with who said you got to sign this shit, right? And then allowed the breakup to happen. Because look, bitch, if you ain't signing this shit, then that's an automatic red flag. You can get the fuck out. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below, man. Drop a comment down below and the let me know. markets are closed. Would you deal with this type of woman? Did it just tell me that the markets was closed? I've never heard that. Does Trading View let you know that the market's closed? First of all, the market is still open until 3.45. Maybe that was something else in the background, guys. I don't know what that was. But anyway, look, man. Um, Let me see. Yeah, like I was saying, do not ever allow a woman to manipulate you with your emotions. And that's why if you have game, you, are, you can't be manipulated. You're manipulation proof when you truly have game. All right, look, if you want my help directly so you don't end up in a situation like this with a disrespectful bitch who is entitled, who thinks she's entitled to everything that you have, right? Who is entitled to treating you however she wants to treat you and she's just got to show up and look pretty. Make sure you hit the link in my description down below to get some help with your specific situation. You need some advice, hit me up. Book a call with me right there at the link in my description down below. All right, also go cop your merch, man. True to the Game merch is out. True to the game is on the front, stop simping is on the back, and also, if you are pimping out a simp, like this video, comment your thoughts down below, hit the subscribe button, select all notifications so you do not miss an upload, where I'm getting you closer to being a pimp. Less of a simp, I will see you in the next one, and last but not least, I'm out this thing. Stay true to the game.